Hi there, Steve Kaufman here. This is an unscheduled video. I want to salute Moses McCormick, who passed away a couple of days ago. Uh, when I first uh, saw a tweet indicating that Moses had died, I didn't believe it. I thought it maybe was someone else with the same name, but then it was confirmed that uh, Moses, at the age of 39, passed away with a, a heart attack. It happens. Sometimes young people have some kind of heart condition. Uh, I was just stunned and saddened to hear this. Um, Moses was an outstanding person. Um, I did a video about Moses, Moses 11 years ago. I looked it up and I did one with Moses eight years ago. And what impresses me with Moses is sort of the range of his interests and the range of his activities. He was born and grew up in Akron, Ohio, which is the Midwest, I guess. It's, it's not quite the middle of the continent, but it's not a place where international travelers go normally or where people do a lot of traveling. And yet he, from Akron, Ohio, reached out to 50 languages and cultures as different as Hmong, Indonesian, Chinese, Cantonese, Japanese, and Asia, and uh, Swahili, uh, Sudanese, Arabic, Somali, I don't know what other languages in Africa, in Europe, Georgian, Estonian, obviously Russian, the, the, the major European languages, call them. Uh, I'm sure I'm leaving some out. He maybe sp spoke some uh, uh, Native American languages. 50 was the total number. So he, living and growing up in this town, was able to not only go out and enrich himself, discover the world that he's living in, in his, turns out to be, short period of time on this earth, to go out and find out so much of, of the world that he's living in. But in doing that, and in his videos, and in his methodology for learning languages, and in his leveling up where he goes out and meets people and speaks to, the, speaks to them in their language, he inspired people. So he touched people. Not only he went out to touch cultures around the world and languages for his own enrichment, but he also shared this enthusiasm and his learning technology or techniques with so many people around the world for whom he was an inspiration. So he is a, was an outstanding person who, who crammed so much into his short, tragically short period uh, on this earth. And I think there's a lesson there for us. And that lesson is, it doesn't matter who you are, where you live, you can learn languages, discover more about the world, and you can share that with the world. And, you know, we don't live forever. Uh, none of us is sure how long we're gonna live. And so every minute, every hour, every day, we have to try to do something that is constructive, enriching for us, giving us, allowing us to grow and learn, and at the same time, try to reach out and, and touch and help other people as much as we can, because that's what Moses did. And I would be very happy if there were some ideas about what we could do to honor Moses. You know, uh, I looked up on the internet, Actron has a very nice library system. You know, could there be a Moses McCormick reading room with language books that we could somehow all contribute towards? Or some kind of presence on the internet or something that, that we could do, those of us who were touched by Moses, to, to honor him and honor his memory. So I just put that out there. I have no concrete ideas in mind, but I'm happy to get involved. And I'm curious to hear what uh, ideas others may have. In the meantime, Moses, rest in peace. You had a powerful, powerful life and powerful influence on people around the whole world. Your family should be very proud of you.